You do not want to sit in the back and cower and be someone who hides. All of you did a fantastic job by coming to the front. You are go-getters. You are the people. So what inspired you to come to the Reacher Peak Summit? Uh, you know, Brian's a friend of ours and, uh, you know, he was telling us all about it. He actually had a meet up at my office. It was like a primer for, for this particular uh, event. And, uh, you know, the, the little bit that we got out of that two hour session, you know, seemed like it would be really worthwhile to come here. And so far it's been living up to it. We haven't been here very long, but uh, so far it's been living up to our expectations. So. so, who would like to share first is Chris. Why are you here? Go ahead and stand up. <laughs> so I'm here because, um, I'm at a point in my life, business-wise and personally, where I feel like the I need a mindset upgrade. Actually, let's give Chris a big hand. So, I really love what Chris is doing. That's an example right there of someone who just knew that there was something that was good for him, and he took action, not even knowing the details. How many of you think you need to know all the details before you step in? How many of you like to analyze? Yes, that's okay, go ahead. Listen, there's no judgment, sure. Yeah, a lot of us. I used to be that way as well. This is the example for all of us to follow, is if it looks good, if it feels good, even if it tastes good, if it's healthy, then just do it, yes? Nike, they, they nailed it, they nailed it. Good, good. Brian's an amazing speaker, and I really wanted to see I guess everything that I've ever gotten out of listening to Brian speak before has been wonderful and we're at a point in our business where we're getting ready to explode so I can only imagine with his influence how great that's going to be. Alright, who else? Hello, my name is Mary. I'm here because I want to get more information on NLP. Um, I attended a summit last time which really did change me and interest me and uh, I like all the learning opportunities to help me become more, a more well-rounded businesswoman. Perfect. And CMB. <laughs> so here's another extremely awesome example. All of you are good examples. Just so you know, I am not playing favoritism here. If I don't talk about you over the weekend, which I probably will because I love you all. Mary is an incredible example of, she learned something. She came to this event in February, in February, and her life was changed. She was one of those that came in as Mary. And then when she left, she was a Mary version 2.0. Mary is a perfect example of she learned something, now she wants more. So repetition, you can write this down in your notes, repetition is the key to mastery. The biggest golden, golden nugget I think I would take away is the learning uh, how to communicate with our audience or our clientele. And um, going to events ready and being able to basically just build a rapport and talk with them about who we are and what we do and not have to worry about um, upselling them and teaching them to ask us questions. Makes me feel ready. Ready for tomorrow. Ready for today. <laughs> ready for now. <laughs> Repetition is the key to mastery. How many of you have ever read a book, the same book, more than one time after you finish writing that? Or the left hand, good job, Chelsea. Yes? Anyone else ever read one book more than one time? The same book. Now, for those of you that did that, Chelsea, when you read it the second time, was was it the same? No, you get different. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa! So I gotta stop you there. Wait. So you have a book. You have a book. Was it? Did it change? No, it's the same book. It, wait. You just said no, though. It's the same book, but you learn new things the second time you read it. Yeah. You comprehend better. Yes. Be yes. Did you hear that? You everybody heard that? Okay, good. And that's true with everything in life, isn't it? So when you find something that you know is impactful for you in your life, you can repeat, 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 and then what is your next step? The next level up. It's good to repeat, and is it even better to take the next step to a higher level of advanced learning and training? That's the next step. Some of you will have that opportunity to do that. Mm, that would be nice. Ryan Kelly inspired me to come. I talked to him beforehand about it, and he was he was telling me how much it'll improve my business and improve my life. And I, I really wanted to to see what it was like, uh, so I came. I would love to be able to clear up some bad habits that I have, because um, I know a lot of them come from a bad place that I was at before, and I would love to get out of that bad place uh, by just re-switching my, my mind. It would mean being able to get back into my life and being able to be present always and just being able to move forward with myself. So, key words there. I'm awful at managing my time. 
Did everybody hear that? Mm -hmm. and, and this isn't to single anyone out. So the beautiful thing is recognize when you say some, something like that, that's not a positive thing, that's a negative thing. So, and it still happens to me to this day. I'll say something and, I go, and reframe it immediately. I used to be, actually instead of I used to be awful, I am now very good at managing my time. And that's what you want to keep telling yourself over and over. That's called a reframe in NLP. And as you get in the habit of doing that, you'll notice you'll just start to become much better at managing your time. And yes, you will learn processes and experience in them, experience them here today and tomorrow. That will take you through that in a subconscious manner as well. Do the reprogramming. So thank you. Thank you for sharing. So what inspired me to come here was I went to a meetup and met Brian. And during that meetup, we just connected and I loved his message and um, definitely along the same lines of the work that I've been doing personally. And so it was a no brainer. It was the right thing to do. It's huge because relationships are everything. If you can't communicate clearly and build relationships with people and in my business sell a service to somebody without being salesy, then you're not going to have a business. And so making sure that you're using the right words to draw people in. Okay, my promise to you for this weekend is I will give you everything I've got. We only have two days. It's a short amount of time to give you everything i got. But can you tell that I love what I do, I'm passionate, and I will give you everything i got? That's my promise. I promise. I kid you not. I will be so exhausted by the end of this weekend, I will be, that, that's my goal, is to be so wonderfully exhausted I can barely move. You will leave here a different person. We touched on that. Mary came here. Anthony came here. Thomas came here in February as themselves version 1.0. They left as themselves version 2.0. To a person. Yes? Yes. yes. You guys, yeah? And Donna. I'm sorry, Donna. I keep overlooking that. No. Donna, definitely changed. You are absolutely a different person today than you were in February. There is no doubt. You are outgoing. You're glowing. You're happy. You're here, meaning present. Complete shifts. And that is what the rest of you have in store. And you'll notice that this will go in even deeper after you go through it again. Earlier today, Brian was talking about how when you have certainty, you can really lock in your focus and really go full throttle. And it made me realize the, bu the business that I just launched, it made me realize why I launched it so quickly and so successfully. It's because it's the only thing I've ever done where I've had actual 100% certainty, so I just went all in. Whereas before, I kind of had reservations, I kind of held back, I was kind of like, my belief wasn't there. But when Brian mentioned the whole certainty thing, is like, that's why, I'm that's why I'm succeeding right now, is because I have that now, whereas before I didn't. You'll be more certain in knowing the next steps to take. Remember we talked about next steps. What if, so how many times have you been working something diligently, and you're working it really hard, really hard, really hard, and it's not getting where you want it to go at that moment? And then all of a sudden, bing! An email or a website you looked at, this bright shiny ball appears. Oh, that's my answer. That will take me to the promised land. And then you go to the, the shiny ball and you start working it. What happened to the one you just started? Stop. Amen. It stops. Yeah. Well, what if? So, were you? Most of the time, it doesn't work. Most of the time, you didn't stay on that one to begin with. It's because you had lack of certainty that it was going to get you. To the finish line. The thing is, it takes more work than we all think it's going to, doesn't it? Doesn't it? So if you know with certainty that if you continue to stay the course, are you more apt to finish the race? And disallow those distractions from taking you off course. There are bumps in the road. I'm here to tell you, you know, hey, I'm sorry, I'm gonna give you the truth. Is that okay? The more successful you can become, the tougher it's going to get. It's all about how you react to it. It's all about how you react to it, how you treat it, how you become flexible. You learn to become flexible, and you become habitually flexible. We had issues when we started setting up this morning, last night, and we just went about our business and got it done. Because you learn flexibility, and things that would normally set you off and take you down this path of fright and knee knocking, and oh my God, what am I gonna do? Instead, you just go straight into problem solving mode with no emotion, just okay. That's good, you know? That means I'm, I'm doing something right. I'm successful because these issues are coming out. Reframe, you hear that? Everybody catch that one? It's a blessing. Problems and issues are a blessing. 
You want problems and issues. Brian Kelly, I've known him for years. He's an amazing guy, and I'm just so happy that I came because now I'm fired up, and I'm really excited again. I'm an international best-selling author and professional speaker. So international best-selling author, Becky. You see my name or picture on this book? No. What? <laughs> Did I bring the wrong book here? What about back here? You see it? Anyone? I know there's a lot of words there. <laughs> no. I'll help you out. No, it's not there. <laughs> it, there's, but so how? How? Why do I have this book up here? Becky. I must be in it somewhere. <laughs> right answer. So this is called Sexy with No Boundaries, authored by Heidi Lee. It is a collaborative book. What does that mean? Many authors contributed to it. She collected and asked and see and sought different authors. I was in a, a workshop with 300 people, and she was in the same one, and she motioned me over and asked if I would like to do it, if I'd like to write a chapter. I had no idea about anything about it, <laughs> but I just said this one word, this one word that since then has been the key to catapulting my success forever because I got the habit of saying it. Not knowing what to expect, really what the book was about. I mean, does it look a little promiscuous to you? Yeah. Okay. Had I known this was the cover and not known what it was about, I probably would have said, I don't know about this because I'm not that kind of guy. It's about the sexiness within. And just so you know, if you're taking notes, Sexy With No Boundaries by Heidi Lee, the magic starts on page 135, just saying. <laughs> so the thing is, I wrote just a few pages, and I put everything I had into the few pages. She just said, write as little or as much as you want. I thought, well, I don't want to be disrespectful and write 50 pages of, of where other people are involved. And the beautiful thing is, do you think it took me that much? So if you compare this entire book, writing an entire book, compared to a few pages, which is easier? That's a tough question, I know. Anybody know the answer? <laughs> Terika got it. She's the only one that knows. A few pages, right? It's easier. And all I did was say, oh, yeah, I'll do it. I'll do it. And because of that, she did all the marketing. We did Barnes & Noble book signings, two of them, with all the authors that could make it. And I went to both. It was a lot of fun. And then she masterfully marketed it on Amazon, which you're going to learn about later, um, and became a national bestseller within a couple of weeks, then went to international bestseller right after that. And because I took a little bit of time, put everything I had into the few pages I wrote, I stand before you as an international best-selling co-author. Now that's not to pat myself on the back at all, at all. It's for you to understand what would it take for you to do something similar. It's about working smarter, not necessarily harder. When opportunity arises or when you create an opportunity, don't overcomplicate it. Keep it simple. Make sense? So I want to ask, so now that you know I'm an author, international best-selling author, before I told you it was just one chapter, did that in any way raise my authority status in your head? Yeah, there's not. Yes, of course. What, did, how many of you have a book already? OK, good. So could you not, as a group of phenomenal, amazing entrepreneurs, come up with your own collaborative project? Yeah. Just a, just a thought. And then you can then say that you are an author and use the abilities of someone that is not yet in the room but will be to help you get to that bestseller status. Sound cool? So uh, one of the things I've learned here at uh, the Peak Performance Workshop is T-Bear. That's uh, thoughts, beliefs, emotions, uh, actions, and then um, results. So uh, if you can implant that into your daily lifestyle, then uh, you're guaranteed to see some results. So that's been very powerful, and I'm looking forward to implanting that in my daily habits. Cool, cool, cool. I'm a fitness expert, certified personal trainer, and founder of an online fitness company called the Global Fitness Club. That is a picture of a morning television show in Arizona, kind of like Good Morning America, but a smaller version of it, quite a bit smaller, so cable TV. That was a life-changing experience in its own right. And I'm not a dramatic person. I don't say life-changing just every time and everywhere. Uh, but that was a big, and the reason that happened is a direct result of one of the processes you're going to go through today. Today. That happened because 
I went through a similar process that I will be taking you through today. Does that excite anybody? Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. I, now, disclaimer, I'm not promising you're going to get on a morning television show. You get that, right? I hope you get that. But why not? I love it. Why not? What that did was it, re it lowered my resistance, my hesitation, and I was able to make decisions quick without analyzing, which all of us have a tendency to do at times, don't we? And when you know it's good for you, when you know it's the right thing to do, when you know it's absolutely positive and you want it, and you want it, you want it now, you want to go forward, and then you get this little voice that's saying, hey, uh, but you know, you got this, you got that, you got, what about money, what about time, you got to take time off, blah, blah, blah. Well, what if you want it, if you want it, but that thing's stopping you, the resistance, that little voice, you know, that little devil, that you just want to go, kick off, right? Well, this, what we're going to go through, is going to kick that little voice off. And you will be empowered and go forward in a liberated way. Right, Mary? Yeah. From this point forward. I'm also the creator of Fitnotherapy. Do we have a copy back there anywhere we can run up fast? Fitnotherapy is an audio therapy system uh, that actually Anthony is listening to on a regular basis right now.